In other democracy news now, uh, the Occupy Wall Street protest has been hosed uh, out of its previous lodging. Mm -hmm. And um, last Saturday, John, I did a gig at the uh, Occupy London protest. And, you know, we pretty much brought capitalism to its knees with an hour of music, uh, comedy and performance poetry. And... Mm -hmm. um, well, it's the performance poetry that yeah. always tips it. But I was steering that ship, John. I was I was comparing it, and you know you can't help but think. Just just four or five days later, the police waded in with batons in <laughs> uh, in New York. I thought, well, you yeah. know, this we we've seen what the bugle can do. We've seen what it's done to Mubarak. We've seen what it's done to Gaddafi, and we cannot take that risk. Yeah. So uh, you're welcome. Mm-hmm. Um. But uh, the reasons given for clearing the Occupy Wall Street protest uh, range from uh, hygiene and public safety, and uh, New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg think he might have dropped his lucky cuddly buffalo there and he really <laughs> wanted to find it because he couldn't sleep at night, yeah. and just something to pass the time of day. As the protesters were cleaned out, some onlookers apparently shouted at them, get a job, to which I Ugh. suppose the obvious retort would have been, that is kind of what this whole <laughs> thing is about. <laughs> <laughs> In an ideal world, that <laughs> will happen. Yeah, the protesters uh, have been uh, carried on their protests uh, around New York, and uh, in favour of radical reform to Wall Street, for example, encouraging the banking sector to use basic arithmetic instead of a roulette wheel and a hammer in the testicles. Um, and people have been increasingly hacked off by the rising levels of inequality in America and around the uh, the Western world. So mass unemployment has chomped its spiky gnashes into America's one remaining buttock. But at the same time, sales of luxury goods have continued to rise. Uh, USA! <laughs> USA! <laughs> that's, that's what the founding fathers were dreaming of, I think, when they yeah. set this whole shebang up. Yeah. But a compromise has now been reached, John, whereby whenever a millionaire buys a really expensive car, the car salesman is legally obliged to say to him, you know this represents an economic system that is totally unsustainable long term. The millionaire then legally has to nod and say, "Yep, I do know that." <laughs> now give me the f***ing keys. <laughs> I think everyone will be fine with that. It's just it's more transparency, Andy. That's what this government wants: transparency without any kind of change. <laughs> Activists released a statement to the Wall Street, uh, the Occupy Wall Street activists, saying that while they may have been physically removed from Zagotti. Park, they said, and I quote, you can't evict an idea whose time has come. Here's the thing, they are definitely going to try and evict that (laughs) idea as well, Andy. They're going to tear gas the shit out of that idea. (laughs) Some executives have complained that the protests have distracted them. One trader who wished to remain anonymous said, it's hit me real bad. When I went to the titty bar for lunch with a dubious Russian oil magnate, I could hardly concentrate on the titties. But they've claimed to be representing the 99% of people, the protesters. And the problem is then, I think they need to be more specific who exactly these 99% of people are. I mean, 99% of people have not ridden a hippo. Is this what this is all about? Mm-hmm. 99% of people have not eaten a live mackerel whilst unicycling. Or experiment to see whether if you fill your car's petrol tank with hamsters, it would still work. And if so, whether it would work squeakily or not. So I think, I mean, this is, this is the problem with this, this protest, you know, apart from not coming up with fully costed alternatives for the entire global economy. <laughs> so they haven't been, you know, I want line by line breakdown of exactly where all the money's coming in from yeah. and going out to. Otherwise, what is the point of these protests? You know, if you, can't, if you cannot hold up a pla- placard big enough to have a comprehensive solution to all the world's economic problems, you shouldn't hold a placard up at all, John. Well, it's, it's like with the anti-Iraq war protest, Andy. Unless you can come up with a workable solution for demilitarising some of the most dangerous areas of the world, then what are you doing out there? Yeah. I mean, not many of those anti-war placards had detailed historical backgrounds <laughs> on the political machinations that led to the creation of Iraq and the yeah. social and religious pressures that have, that have influenced it since. And that, to me, undermined the whole point of those protests. Get a job! <laughs>